Good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm slightly irritated, so this may not be the most smooth going vlog out there. But yeah, I got problems with my drift, or my drifts, multiple. So my first one is the one I'm using at this moment, is probably around five, six, maybe even seven years old. So it's the camera I started vlogging with. And I've been vlogging with for a very long time. But because I wanted or needed a second camera, so I bought a 720 HD Drift second hand. Which did the trick for a very small part because it came with two batteries. One was dead, the other one was very, very near to death. So I was still in battery shortage, which is acceptable and doable and survivable. But the camera also has some problems with or footage survival. For some reason, sometimes it just didn't record footage. I don't. I so I bought a new drift style, a new one. It works. And the, the first imagery I used was indoors with electric cross videos. And you don't see much footage of that because yeah, the style 2 had some problems with the coloration in the dark. So the colors changed and became green purplish. Looks utter shit contacted Drift about it, it was light problems they said, so I used it outside and as you have seen footage of it and it looks good when it's light outside. Of course it does not have an external mic so it cannot replace this old one and once in a while it corrupted a safe. It, it can be a hassle sometimes because it just, the one thing you wanted to save it did not save, <coughs> that kind of problems, but I can deal with it, I, you know it's manageable or at least it was manageable then came the bigger problems because sometimes it starts recording and within 10-12 seconds it stops recording on its own not on my behalf not on any other reasons but its own still doable just press start again and you make sure you just wait 10-20 seconds and then uh, you're fine. Bigger problem was that it that started occurring more and more often. Then the real shit started to come. It started to corrupt more and more files. I changed SD cards. I changed uh, the SD card reader because maybe it was dead. I changed another SD card. We bought a new SD card. Didn't matter. Files got corrupted. What can we do to fix this problem? Well, nothing. Uh, at this point, about 80% of the files it records gets corrupted. Contacted Drift, but Drift support team or customer service is just utter, utter shite. Um, it takes them two, three, four weeks to reply, which is shite. If they reply, they reply the same answer, I think. I had the same reply, the same base reply, like change an SD card for three times already, for in the same conversation, just getting back to that point which we already tried. So that one is also just thrown inside a drawer and I don't know, useless, paid I don't know how many euros for it and utter utter useless at this moment. That's the reason why I wanted to get rid of the Drift Outro, because fuck it. But I was lucky, I still had this one. Until I did the test ride of the Suzuki Scrambler. For some effed up reason, yet unknown, it started up, it started recording, but I couldn't stop recording, which is already a problem. At one point I managed to stop the recording with a press of the button. So at first I thought, okay, maybe it's a button problem. The second time, I could also not stop recording, so I ended up removing the battery. Started up, everything seemed so normal, I could start recording, and it wouldn't stop again. At this point, I was 
done the most of the review and I didn't want to lose any imagery so I decided to not remove the battery because I was afraid the file that he was recording on would get corrupted so instead I decided to let the camera just film until the battery died I hoped while he was doing that he would reach the point of uh, cutting where you cut your recording in, in one piece saves it and start a new one so that the piece with the review was saved um, I did that camera died eventually um, memory card corrupted I could not use the memory card at all not in the PC, not in the other Drift, not in the Sony, not in the Denver it would not be recognizable footage most likely gone two hours review of your footage gone the camera itself would not start up again not with a fully charged battery not with an empty battery not with a battery while it's on the cable there was a problem because that was at that point my only working drift or it is at that point my only working drift so it's a real effing problem if your only camera stops working so I hooked it up in the PC which for some reason kind of reset the drift and it, it started it up date was wrong, time was wrong, everything was wrong but you know at least it was working so we got the drift working again but we still had the footage that was gone I still have the footage that's gone I probably have to do the whole thing again if the dealer is letting me do the whole thing again which is a bloody good question so yeah in the end I managed to uh, got my drift working again I'm not quite sure what was the problem of the drift but the moment I can get a affordable new camera I will probably will and also dump this one in the drawer of dead cameras because I kinda don't trust it anymore if you get my drift the channel MS481 did a review on the Firefly that camera really looks promising but I might be trying to get my hands, hands on that one if and when I have the money for that you know that's my story from now that's my irritation today I'm dropping drift at this moment I'm sick of it malfunctioning, breaking down and what not more look at the blue lights 